Good morning to you. I'm Carol Costello. We start with breaking news in the CNN newsroom. In just seconds, a 200-page report will be posted online. It involves Penn State and how it handled the child rape accusations against Jerry Sandusky. Louis Free, the former director of the FBI, will release the results of an eight-month investigation into the actions of Penn State officials. Now, this report was paid for by Penn State. Much of the report is expected to be critical of the late Joe Paterno. The legendary and revered football coach who died last January. My sign said, Paterno, pedophile enabler, Paterno, cover-up artist, Paterno, liar. It had been eating at me, the fact that, that all of these symbols of Joe Paterno are still hanging around, in spite of the fact that, to me, it was pretty apparent that he was involved in covering up the rape of a young boy. It was a nice day, and what better way to spend a few hours in the afternoon just going out and publicly making it known how I felt. I was realistic enough to know that there would be people with very strong opposing points of view. We could edit that out. I knew people would probably call me names. Silly ass. I was pretty much prepared for anything. We all have an opinion, okay? We do. Yours isn't special. I'm allowed to present I mine, know you too. Are, but I'm allowed to stand so then why here. Why are you so upset? I'm allowed to stand here without you bugging me or being in my picture. I'm not bugging okay? you. You're bugging me. No, you were holding that above my head. If you don't want bugged, all you have to do is move. You were holding that above my head. I'm allowed to stand here just like you. But now you are. Because yeah. you're a f There's that's lots of room why. on that side. You can stand over there. See you later, pedophile neighbor. What? What? What did you say? Huh? Give me that. Around here, opinions like mine are in the minority. Here, write another one. I will. You plow. In terms of isolating, yeah, I've lost a number of friends over. Why don't you take that hat off? Yeah. Why are you wearing that hat? Because sure. I still am proud of Penn State. I just don't have much pride for this guy. You don't like the facts. I don't like you don't like free speech. Goodbye. Go to Russia. They don't like it either. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! What the hey, hell are hey, you hey, doing? She's pushing me. I am not. She's a yeah, She's pushing. Yeah, she is. You're she's a sick so individual. Yeah, she's the sick one. She's pushing me. So I don't think so. Thank, Thank you. I'm that trying to take a picture. Why? You touched my mother. Someone called the police. The policeman came over and asked me if I would move, and I did. I felt as though I made my point. Thank you. There is that saying here, we are Penn State. It's kind of a collectivist thing. It's like we're all of one mind. That's kind of what it says. Whatever Penn State is, we all are that, right? Well, we're not now all Penn State.
Since the release of the free report, the perception of Joe Paterno around the country has been altered. The Big Ten Conference announced that Paterno's name will be removed from the league's championship trophy. And Paterno's alma mater, Brown University, removed his name from its head football coaching position. The president believes removing the Paterno statue is the right thing to do. I think it's a good time for us to do some soul searching. Every institution, not just Penn State. This paternal controversy became a hot issue. And people have very, very strong opinions on both sides. There are things that are still out there that I think could further stir up the pot.